Well, I really didn't want to do an update, but I guess I needed to do an update. Here is an updated list of who's in and who's out for Major League Fishing and the top 35 of the Lifetime Angler of the Year points. To start off, I'm going to tell you how I came up with this list so everyone knows. When I first started this yesterday, I wrote down everybody, every angler in the two, 2023 Bass, Bass Pro Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. I put everybody's name on this list, four pages. Then what I did was I made a category for every year from 2019 to 2023. I then went in and looked up every angler that fished in the 2023 season and got their angler of the year points and put it in for all five years. Now there's some guys who are new and some guys that are have been in for five years. I then got the total points and then gave whoever had the total, the highest total points to the lowest total points and gave them a ranking from one to 81 or 82. That's what I did. Now I've had a ton of you that have commented and watched this, these videos. If you can do me a favor, click the subscribe button, please. I don't do clickbait stuff. I do lure reviews and I love bass fishing and it helps me and helps the channel. And I hope you become a subscriber. Now I need to, to specify this or be very specific. I, while I enjoy watching other people's videos and, and checking out how people do things, as someone who did radio for 12 years, I try to get, I try to be very straightforward in looking at what I want. I don't want to look at someone else's opinion or what if other people's, other people think. When we got this press release on what Major League Fishing was doing, they said they were gonna take the top 35 lifetime of the year, lifetime angler of the year anglers. That's who was gonna make it. That was what it was who was in the last video. Come to find out, thanks to y'all in the comments, and I appreciate every comment, and hopefully I've replied to everybody. I didn't know that they were gonna allow anglers who had who fished over three years, they were gonna allow them to take one year off and then take the average of those other four years. So not knowing that, because it wasn't really said in the press release, and that doesn't surprise me, I then had to go back in and change the statistics of what I was doing. Because there were people like, what about Dakota Ebre, and what about uh, Matt Steffen, and all these other anglers? What, hap what, what about those guys? Why aren't they in their, the top 25, or top 35? The reason why is they don't have the career points that someone who has four years in, like Jacob Wheeler. That's the truth. If you've only had one year, you can only be judged on that one year. And that's where the rookies and the guys who have fished one or two years are really going to have a tough time next year, or a tough time in 2025. They need to they need to destroy it next year in 2024 to not only help their points, but to get them in that other 10 anglers. And that's where really everything is going to be very interesting because I went back in and I'll show you my thing and I'll put a thing on here. I went back in and I went through every angler from last year and removed their worst year. That gave me their total points. Then I made it so it averaged out, you know, that divided by four gives me the average and then gave them a ranking from one to in this case, the top 35. And there's anglers like, and I, and I apologize, Matt, if it's Becker or it's Beaker, I don't know how you how you say it, but I'm gonna say Becker in this case. Matt is technically second on this list. And the reason why is because his average is so high, but Matt has only one year behind him. He was angler of the year. And congratulations to him, rookie angler of the year. That's phenomenal. So while he comes in second because his average year points is so so high because he has one year, but other than it was like Dakota Ebre, who is actually in third, only has two years of statistics to go in the Bass Pro Tour. And like Dakota, I think has a really good shot at being in that top 35 as is uh, for his average because his average is insanely high. So there are some changes from yesterday's videos to today, but I just wanted to go through how I got these stats because there's been a lot of question. Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? I didn't do take away a year or their lowest year because I didn't know about it. I didn't know that that was going to be part of the average. 
That wasn't said in that press release. That was said to the anglers. And like I said, I'm not watching a lot of the angler videos because I don't want it to skew what I'm trying to do. Because I watched one this morning and the person said how he knew everything was going to happen to Major League Fishing. And I'm going to call bullshit on it. I think that, I don't think you knew. You've been trying to get into the PPT, but then out of nowhere this happens and you knew this was going to happen? That's bullshit. It's just a lie. It's just to try to make yourself look better. This list doesn't make me look better. That's the whole thing. I'm looking at it from outside of the box. Who's in and who's out. Because honestly, I don't like, I, I really don't know if I like it or dislike the top 50. I think there's a lot of great anglers outside of that top 35 that are really in trouble. And it's going to be a drastic change for themselves and their family. And as someone who only looks at everything as family first, I'm not that these guys have made, you know, don't make a great living, but some of these guys are going to be stressed and it's going to make a drastic change in all the undercard of the fishing tournaments. I'm not trying to take anything away from the Opens or the Notations or MPFL. They're the undercard to the BPT and the Elites. That's the truth. They're the 2A and 3A of tournament fishing. If you want to be, if you want to keep it real, anglers want to go to the Elites or the BPT. I don't know which one they want to go to more right now because, quite honestly, with the no changes and the things that happen on the Elites, I don't know if the Leeds isn't a better opportunity, but it is the hardest place to get into because they only let nine anglers in from the opens and you got to fish all the opens. Now you're looking at a $30,000, $40,000 investment to try to make the top nine out of 225 people in most cases. And you're going against locals. The Leeds is the hardest to get into. It might be said that the Bass Pro Tour is now the hardest to get into. Because they're going to have the Invitationals, which have a ton of anglers, and they're only going to take the top five. And that's not a lot of anglers. They're going to, it's going to mean a constant cycle of new anglers coming in, and some that if you have a bad year, you're in trouble. You're really in trouble. Because after you take away one bad year, having another one just doesn't work. There's a lot of anglers that have, have had numerous bad years. And I believe those are the anglers that should be should go on and should have to requalify. But this is about right now the top 35. So I'm only going to go through the top 35 and there's a lot of rookies in it. So keep that in mind. But here's one through 35 with rookies included average points lifetime. Jacob Wheeler, Matt Becker, Dakota Ebre, Jordan Lee, Michael Neal, Ott Defoe, Jeff Sprague, Elton Jones Jr., Brenton Ayler, Dustin Connell, Andy Morgan, Ed, Edwin Evers, Mark Rose, Jesse Wiggins, Justin Lucas, Jeremy Lawyer, here's another one with two, Todd Faircloth, Alton Jones, Stephen Browning, Adrian Avina, Mark Jones Jr., Takahira Omori, Zach Burge, Brian Thrift, for the Brian Thrift guy, Andy Montgomery, Wesley Strader, Casey Ashley, Mark Davis, Greg Vinson, Gerald Sforer, Jared Littner, Anthony, Anthony Gigliardi, John Hunter, Fletcher Shryrock and Cody Miller make up the top 35. Now, John Hunter only has one year. So, you know, jo Josh Bertrand, who's, or Chris Lane, who's 36, probably moves into that spot. Randall Tharp, Josh Butler. Josh Butler's another one who only has one year. There's a few anglers on the list that only have one or two years, but if we're looking at average, those are the top 35 right now. I know, it's so confusing. It's 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 almost mind-boggling mind -boggling how confusing the whole situation is. Um, hopefully this clarifies and gets more people, they understand how this process worked for me. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't mind answering questions, by all means. If you want this whole list in a PDF, email me. It's in the about thing. Email me. I'll send it to you and you can look at it yourself. Okay? Hope this clarifies it. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you again for all the comments. Hopefully all you guys that are new comments people or new watchers, I hope you're hitting that subscribe button because it really does help me. Guys, take kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.